Look, I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of my energy. Thank hey, you have a good day. Time. Thank you for uh, being professional and, and all your guys being professional. That's we what we get paid for. Yeah. yeah. Well, you so, know what? Not everybody's the same, man. Well, hopefully your experiences so in the far, future are better. And so far, all your everybody. So far, everybody I've dealt with in, 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 at a Ventura PD has been you. class act. Yeah, I hope that. I'm yeah, sure yeah. that will continue to be the case. I hope so, because I deal with LAPD, I deal with Torrance, I deal, and it's not the same, man. It is not the same. So good for you. Take care. Take care. See you. Okay. Here's land development, where you can get all your information. Building and safety is here. How are you, ma'am? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you. What's I'm sorry, say that again? What are we, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. We're just filming in a okay. public building. Okay. Sure. Say that again? Okay. No reason to yes, be nervous if you are. This is the uh, planning and zoning, oh, building and safety. And everybody seems happy working here. It's a good place to work, huh? Absolutely. Good. We've got eight business cards. And then the sign-in sheet. So would this be the, the map you're talking about at the other studio? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I just need to, yeah, I just need to know what the Typically, uh, you mind answering a question? Typically, how long from uh, coming in with submitted plans to getting all approvals done for a single family home, would it take? Uh, let me get one of the gals out of the back. Okay. Okay. Right. Good deal. Thanks. Uh -huh. Interesting. Um, let me go back and find out. I'll call you right back. Anyway. Did you find out? No. The owner of the company is going to call me back. Because Some uh, cities take an extremely long time to uh, get uh, permits done so you can start construction. I'm just curious how long, how fast it is here. What's nice about in here, it's air conditioned because it is hot outside. See how long it takes, though. What are you filming? Uh, we just go around to film documentation, show different facilities, and in, in <laughs> who the, are you? Who am I? Yeah, like who's we? Well, who are you? I'm Shannon. Nice I'm to meet you. Say we. I, I'm Phil. I'm Phil. Nice you to just meet do you. Do this as an individual person, not an agency? Yeah, no, no, no. We're just we're with no group or organization. We just make we sure. You. Huh? <laughs> we as you then. Well, we, my buddy and I, yeah. are out today. But there's people throughout the country that do this, oh. and it's just to show transparency. It's just to show government agencies how what they offer in in certain cities. So oh. people that are homebound or people cool. in other states, you okay. know, That's, public. Yeah. All right, I'll okay. shut up. Thanks. No, no. So, so I have to get back to her because she's good deal. Did you come to help me, or am I still waiting? Oh, there's someone from the community. Okay, thank you very are you much. Doing your day good? Huh? Are you doing good? Good. How about yourself? Good. 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 Nice sunny day, huh? It's really nice, and you guys, I think, from that, those rooms all have a nice office. Oh, yes, typically. Oh, it's hot out there. <laughs> we, we forget why the shade's down. <laughs> a little toasty out there. Yes, yeah, someone will be with you. Okay, appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's just a quick question. Somebody's coming out? Yes. Everybody seems to be looking at me, but nobody wants to come out. Yeah. I think it's the camera. What do you, what do you, yeah, they'll be in a minute. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You, guys are so, you guys are so pretty and have great smiles. I don't know why you guys would, any of you would be afraid of camera. See, I won't even make you feel uncomfortable. I'll point it that way and talk to you. How's that? 
See, at least I got a laugh out of you ladies. So, you know, another thing why we do this is to show transparency that, you know, the police that were already here, I don't know if you're aware of it. We, yeah, there were three cars outside. Yeah, yeah, and we dealt with them, and they know us, you know. They, we deal with it all the time. Mm -hmm. We're not here for any ill will. We're here to show that we also all have a right to film in public and shouldn't be afraid of a camera. And we understand, if you guys want to call, you, you're more than happy. I mean, you know, it's uncomfortable for a lot of people to be on a camera. They no, don't know what it is. I'm trying to conduct private information here. I'm trying to conduct... Yeah, but we're not here I for actually, that. If we wanted, if we wanted to do camera again, we totally could. Yeah, we're in an open lobby. Well, well, here's our public information officer. Well, well how are you? I'm good. Ashley Batista, nice okay, to nice you. to meet you. You're the public information officer. Let, let's go. Let's go over here. This lady okay. seems to be upset. Okay. So, what was your name, Ashley? Ashley Batista. Very nice to meet. Yeah, How nice long have you been working too. here? Four years. Very good. My yeah. name's Phil. Did nice I tell you? Nice to meet you. You did it, but okay, or I didn't Phil. hear. Phil. Okay. Pleasure. Nice so, to meet you. So yeah, I, I was explaining what we do uh, to these ladies. And, but besides that, my question to you was, what is the permit process from from the time somebody comes in with per, with plans? that uh and you guys have to uh get them per permitted everything's good how yeah, long does that generally take i guess um my answer to you though is i'm the communication manager for the whole city so i don't know per department the permitting process for all of them oh, oh nobody brought me out oh nobody brought you out i was i was told that people were filming and had some questions so i didn't know that you I was called upstairs, oh, wow, and someone said, "Oh, because I asked this lady, can you? I have a question, and that was my question. What is oh. the permit process? Okay. Yeah, I mean, we've we've already dealt with six police. They know us here. Yeah, and you have every legal right to film Thank or do you. any of that. Thank but if your questions are about um, permitting processes, and that's what your questions are yeah. specific to. Well, I guess I'm still waiting for this. She said both these ladies told me a, a person was coming out, and I thought that was you okay. for that specific. Got you know it. what you could do a big thing. Well, yeah. is you can educate <laughs> yes. the employees <laughs> beautiful, just colors. Yes. about public photography. Now, we understand, you know, people get nervous and so on and so forth, but to call the cops immediately, it, it's a waste of time for resources. And, I mean, you know, it's just... Yeah, and our officers, I hope they treated you respectfully. They know the law. Yeah. I mean, I'm going over to get him coming. Yeah. He knows us. And I, yeah. I, I just told all the cops here, man, because I deal with, with different cities all the time. These police officers are all good that I've run into. Yeah. I mean, you know, I haven't run into all of them. I'm sure there's some bad ones. I mean, yeah, good and bad and everything. Yeah. But they're all, the ones I've, I've run into, they're all very nice and good. and good to me. Good. I mean, good to me. They're not patting me on the, my back. Good. They're professional. No. I think you know sometimes I mean? just in some public facilities, not everyone understands that you have the right to film. Well, so then it makes them feel uncomfortable. I understand. Let's get in that dialogue. But you know, so you want to know about the permitting process. Look, That's what you'd like look, to know. So when she's done talking... No, what, what, what I'm saying is, look, they feel uncomfortable. Everybody's being filmed. You know what I'm saying? There's a oh, camera about that. Well, sometimes they get um, people that are hostile about different things in here. I think that's why they must have cameras. Look at me. I'm like yeah. three feet two. I'm not yeah. hostile. No, and I, d I don't think you are at all. No, no, no. I think it just probably but, made them uncomfortable. And, 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 and that's what the young lady in the, in the polka dot, you know, she, I know she didn't like it. I explained to him very, to her very courteously, but then this uh, customer said, well, I'm doing personal business, and I said, yeah, but... It's like, look, I'm in here. I'm not, first of all, I don't have any intent to be zooming in on personal business. It, this is basically a test, you know. It's called First Amendment audits. You're familiar with it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, there's some people go out and uh, do them a different way. You know, there can, there can be hostility from the get-go. That's not my mo. My mo is more to educate and be cordial. But you get what you get. If somebody's coming at me the wrong way, you know, that's yeah. not Yeah, I would help. just like to, if you were looking for something, you mentioned permit. Okay, if you get, really want to know that, I'd like to just get you the information. I do. I so know I'm not that. a subject matter expert on each department. Okay, see, I just help with our communication. So if someone has a question or a concern, I'll find the right person. They said, both so, of these said somebody was coming out to help me, and that's why I thought okay. it was you, Ashley. So okay. that's what happened. Got you. But so. you, the answer you want is what's the permitting process for Not this. the process. I would like to know what is the... I, I would like to for know for building it, or for um, sorry, opening what? for like building something yeah, for opening like a business. Wanna, you, come in, you come in here with a, with plans from your, you come in here with plans from your architect mm -hmm. and you say, hey, I want to build this. 
what is it yeah. what is the time yeah. frame from walking in from that day yeah, to getting the yeah. plant and uh, so a permitted that, would that, be... that's a simple question that's all i want to know yeah okay and she both these ladies said somebody was coming to help me yeah. and, and this is i think did they call and you then to answer i think i think that's what so happened. Yeah. And then he then just so you know he just wants, wants to know about the permitting process which i explain who could speak to that as far as when plans come up and then probably uh, okay, but even Wait, that's, that was directed to this okay. nice lady here who said that somebody was coming out and right. then... Uh, that was young, sorry. Okay. No, that's okay. No, I'll go back and, and, I, talk to and I have to go so to a, on a conference call. But I even I can just talk to a planner if you're you're busy. Elizabeth, Elizabeth would be the best. Okay, we'll start there. Kate, 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 it's just a right? quick yeah. question. Oh, Tim, um, Rose, this gentleman, yes. I know, because there's not. Because it's different for every... There's different zones. There's coastal. There's hillside. What kind of addition are you doing? Are you asking for any areas? Are you wanting encroachment? Are you exceeding lot coverage? Can you go straight to building if you don't trigger any of those? Or I, you I hear you. I hear you 100%. Let me just ask this and I'll get out of here. In your experience being the professional person you are, what's the quickest you've ever seen something permitted? Well, if you're, if you're doing a single family dwelling that doesn't trigger anything in planning that involves a variance or other modification, you'd be dealing straight with building right. for a single family residence. Right. And these ladies could give you an average turnaround for that because okay. that's out of my wheelhouse. Okay. I deal with it when it's on the other end when you are asking for exceptions to height, gotcha. setback, coverage, etc. All right, let me ask you that. What's mm -hmm. the average? When the plans are submitted, um, it's approximately four to five weeks to get the the first round reviewed. Right. So it just depends on how many ins and outs there are as far as okay. corrections. Okay, okay. So um, each scenario is different. Right, but it could take up to five weeks and then we're, you're good to go. No, no. Five weeks is the, uh, four to five weeks is the initial submittal. Right. So you bring your plans in. Right. We have, it's about probably four to five weeks to get them reviewed. Gotcha. And then... If there's corrections, then they go back out to corrections. Then they come back in. So it's let's it let's take this, this scenario. They're clean, no corrections. There's no corrections. Permits can be issued five weeks. Yes. If, Thank if, you. If, if That's there, all I needed to if know. The, if there's no corrections, if they're clean. I'm with you. But then the people mean to decide not to build right away. And right. right. No. I, right. On a lot I understand. Yeah. You can yeah. have that kind of. Yeah. I understand yeah. that. There's I understand. So Okay, all right. So Ashley, appreciate the professionalism. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, ladies, for uh, the information. You're Thank welcome. You. Have a great day. Thank you. All right. Well. You know, if I could help answer any other questions, I'm not a subject matter, but can point you in the right direction. No, you did. Do you have any questions about code enforcement? That's our code enforcement professional. Okay, very good. What's your name? Hello. What's your name? My name is Inspector Nims. Inspector Nims? Yes. What's the S? I'm Phil, by the way. Hi, Phil. How are you? Susan? No. You don't want to it's say a, it. It's a secret. Okay, it's a secret. <laughs> but I'm shorter than you. You won't tell me the secret? <laughs> oh, yeah, you are shorter than me. All right. I don't For know once. why people don't want to say their first name. Because actually, I probably I, I could go on a Transparent California and find out your name, sure. your income. Of Just course. say your name to me, and I don't have to do that. It's right here. S. Nims. Okay, you don't, you don't want to say that's, the first that's name. That's my name, right there. Okay, well, unfortunately, yes. I can't be fully transparent, but thank you anyway. All right, take care. Thank you. See, that's the problem. That's, the, that's, the, that's the problem right there. She's a public official getting paid with taxpayers' dollars, and she doesn't want to identify herself. And that's what's wrong. That's what's wrong, Ashley. She should. She should, because what's going to happen now is I'm gonna post this video, and you're gonna look great, and all these other people are gonna look fantastic. And she's not gonna look great, and probably 50,000 people are gonna see this video and within a week, easily within a week, I think. I, I mean, think I sometimes positions like that, they deal, she deals with code enforcement where she has to go into people's houses, and they're really angry because it's like a hoarding incident or something where they have to get kicked out of their house, and so. I, I'm assuming that maybe she doesn't have her first name like a lot of others on their shirt because they, they are more in fear of their safety for those types of reasons. Sometimes though assumptions get you in trouble. You know, and the thing is now it, it's going to go up, people are going to look it up, they're going to post it, and they're probably going to say, you know, why didn't she say it? She would have looked a lot better. It, it probably wasn't the best move she should have. 
Okay. And, that, and, and that's it. And uh, so I appreciate your uh, professionalism. Yeah, if you they have got any you other in the right. They got or, you in the right position yeah, for well, the right thank job. Thank you. I like my job. And you should. <laughs> do you have any other you're questions? Gonna look, you're going to look good. People uh, are, are, are... I just want to make sure that anyone that comes to City Hall or any city facility that they're treated respectfully and that they get the answers to their questions. Would you so. like to know where this is going to be? Um, sure. You can go to uh, News Now California on new YouTube. News Now California on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, I'm going to give you a shout out. Oh, thank you. For your professionalism. Oh, well, thank uh, you. I'm going to tell also people to uh, give you a shout out so they can call him and say how good uh, Oh, well you thank were. you. I just wanted to make sure that you were helped and but that they was called, all. You see what happened? Because I'm just the communication person, so you, if someone doesn't know how to answer you, something. You weren't even supposed to be called here for my yeah. question. I get called even for just someone, if they're too busy at the counter and they need someone to talk to someone to find okay. the right people. Okay, so. good deal. I'll let you go. Yeah. I won't take any more nice of your time. Nice to meet you. Pleasure yeah, meeting nice you, day. Ashley. Day. Bye now. Okay guys, well, that was Ashley. Please give her a shout out. You can go to uh, Ventura City Hall. She was, I believe, the communications uh, facilitator, or the communications director. And uh, call up, say how great of a person she was. Very professional and cordial. Or, uh, you know, give him an email. How are you? Good. You got a good seat there. I do. I've got the best one in the house. It's a beautiful building. Did you happen to see somebody walking through with an orange uh, or a yellow shirt with a camera? I'm the first one? Lucky you. I just got you. Okay, have a great day. Thank you. There's a smiling employee. <laughs> That's good to see. Yeah. Hey, have you happened to see, ma'am, anybody walking around with an orange or yellow shirt with a camera? No, I haven't. Okay, have a good one. Thank you. We're fine. We're good. Here's the city clerk's office. And I just passed the uh, mayor and city manager and city council's office. This is room 205. And here's where you please wait for assistance right here. That's the mayor's office at the front. Hello. You get to see me again. This okay. Is my office you're in the big you're in the big <laughs> shot office now. Is this your office in here? My office is in here. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Well, I'm not going to talk to you anymore because I've taken up too much of your time, but That's okay. If you have any questions, this is our city manager here. So, are are you the public face for the uh, city like when the news comes and so on and so forth? I am. I've been in my position since June, but June? usually I'm at the police department. I am the PIO for the police department. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, then so you then you that, mentioned snow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's I, why. I know them. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. So I manage our police social media and yeah, all of that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm typically behind the camera. Gotcha. <laughs> making videos. What were you doing before this position? 
So I've been with the city of Ventura for four years. Okay. And before that, I have four sons. I'm a mom to oh, four wow. little boys, and so I stayed home with my kids for gotcha. a while. And then gotcha. I worked in private public affairs. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, like I said, they got the right uh, Ashley yeah. for the well, right thank position. Thank you. Let me know if you need anything else. You got it. Yeah. Have a nice. Thanks day. so much. Okay, well, I just ran into Ashley again. All righty. So I am going to go up here and it ends. So I'm going to backtrack and come down here this is human resources And then Sergeant Darlin D. Dowell, he was unfortunately killed in the line of duty in 1978. This is Sergeant Darlin D. Dowell, appointed in 1969, killed in the line of duty on August 7, 1978. And there's one of the responding officers' cars right there. So everything uh, turned out well. Everything turned out pretty well. So here's one of the uh, responding officer's cars. This is how he parks. This is so he's parked here. Facing the wrong direction. But he's parked. Here. How can he be parked here? He's in front of the crosswalk. Go ahead, man. All right, guys. Well, it all ended up well. Uh, neither of us went to jail. So in closing, News Now California, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.